Hi and welcome. Look what I just got in the mail. The PCBs for the Serial Mouse Blaster, an awesome PCB that converts a USB optical mouse into a serial. The PCB implements the circuit of this prototype board in a much smaller space that fits inside the mouse. This video is the second part in the series. So for more background and an explanation on the actual circuit, please refer to part 1. The list of components is quite long and may change in the future, so I won't go over it in detail. In short, we're using several short key diodes, a 5.1V Zener diode, several SMD resistors and capacitors, a 7555 timer, an LM358 op-amp, and of course a Raspberry Pi Pico. Let's build it! We need to connect the TP2 and TP3 pads of the board to the TP2 and TP3 pads on the Pico. These carry the USB signals that are also connected to the Pico's micro USB. But as you can see, I made a mistake and connected them wrong. I realized my mistake later while testing the mouse. Even though I was moving or clicking the mouse, the Pico's LED would not show the activity. Ok, the board is ready. Now let's try to fit it into the mouse. As you can see, the mouse has already been modded. I explained this mod in the previous video. It is basically a 2.2K resistor in series with the LED that reduces its power consumption. But the resistor is in the way, so I'm going to replace it with an SMD resistor. Luckily, there is already an SMD resistor in series with the LED at the bottom of the board. This one is a very small value, less than 100 ohms. I am removing it and replacing it with a 2.2K resistor. My resistor is a 1206 package, which is way larger than the original one, but I made it fit with the help of a ton of solder. Ok, now there is this plastic thingy that helps push down the mouse PCB. This is in the way, so I am cutting it off. But even with this removed, the board won't fit. There is just too much space between the Pico and the PCB. We will deal with that later, let's finish the wiring first. I'm cutting the mouse cable to connect the board to the mouse. The original mouse cable contains 4 smaller cables and a ground wire, so a total of 5. This is exactly the number of wires we need for the serial port. So we're going to use the USB cable to carry the serial port signals.
I am using a cheap serial port connector kit. Ok, let's get back to making the adapter more compact. I removed the female headers completely and hacked it to fit like so. I loaded the firmware and placed the board in the mouse off camera. Ok, let's try it out. After plugging it into the serial port, the LED lights up and we're good to go. It works great. There are still some issues though. Firstly, the board is still too big, so there is some gap between the two parts. Secondly, the mouse wheel won't turn because the PCB is resting on it. Thirdly, if you unplug the mouse and plug it in right away, it won't work. This is because the capacitor that delays the Pico's power on is still charged, so you may need to wait up to a minute until you can plug it in again. The first two issues can be fixed by shrinking down the PCB a bit more by using more SMD components. For a perfect fit, we may eventually need to cut the Pico's PCB a bit shorter. I am not planning to fix the third issue for now, as it would require adding more components which would use more PCB space. I have made both the firmware and the PCB available open source on GitHub. This is revision 0.2 which includes some minor fixes and improvements compared to revision 0.1 that I used in this video. If you find this project interesting, please stay tuned for an updated version of the board. Ok, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thank you for watching and goodbye.